click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today I am going to start with metal casting process, its advantages, disadvantages, applications as casting is the core branch of production process. Metal casting is the basic of production process. So in this video what we are going to do is we are going to see the basic metal casting process, how it is actually done, what are the advantages, why we use this and what are its applications. What we do exactly in metal casting process? We take a pattern which can be of any material like wood, it can be of metal. The standard pattern which we use is wood, like not standard, most of the cases wood is used. Even metals can be used at pattern, even plastics can be used at pattern and even ceramics can be used at pattern. There are different materials, n number of material which can be used at pattern. So what we do is we ram some sand in the pattern. Ramming the sand means we have to keep the sand, we have to pat it so that the sand gets settles, no air quality, no air impurity, nothing settles in dust, again add sand, again ram it and the sand is again made at a different process. Sand making is totally a different process. We need some different materials like silica, water, clay. We mix it, we ram it, we heat it and we, our sand is made. So that sand is added in this pattern and the shape is already made. Material, your molten metal is poured in the pattern. It occupies the space, it solidifies and then the basic cleaning, removing process takes place. So this is the basic process of casting. We are going to see the advantages, disadvantages, application of this casting process. Even permanent molds can also be made by this process. So casting process can be divided into basic four categories. Number one is conventional casting process. It is the basic casting process in which you need, in which dry sand molding can be done, that can be flask use. This is the basic conventional casting process. Then we come to chemical casting process. In that chemical molds are used. It consists of no bake molding, sodium silicate molding or shell molding. These are some chemical based casting process. Next casting process is permanent mold casting. In that you need high or low pressure casting. Or the second one is gravity die casting. These casting make permanent mold. It can't be distorted. The molds which are made is permanent. Then the last type is special casting process. In this casting process, the objects which are made are of special type. Like we use lost wax process, we use mer cast process, we use centrifugal casting process, we use vacuum casting process. So these are some special casting process which can be used to make special objects which are rare. So casting is one of the most versatile process. It consists of different types of processes. So it is one of the most basic process. Different design, different desirable products can be made through casting process. There is directional stability when you go through proper gating system. So these are the different advantages of casting process which you do not get in other processes. So what happened is if you want to make a bulk object, you will be making the individual parts again and again. You need individual parts so that making again and again is required. So because of the casting process, you can individually make it at different places in different numbers and can be used again and again and in different parts. So it eliminates the burden of carrying a heavy object again and again for making an object. So what happens exactly, what is the basic advantage of casting process is? It eliminates joining so that you can make different products. You can join it but at a later stage or at a concluding stage. Starting In the starting stage, joining is not required. This is the basic advantage of casting because of that casting has increased its value in today's time. So these are some advantages of casting process, bulk production, employment etc but along with this there are some disadvantages also dimensional stability is required in all the products but in casting dimensional stability can differ if allowance is not allowed properly so there are different investment casting methods in that di achieving dimensional stability becomes difficult so this is the major disadvantage of casting process it, but it can't be gone through like there are allowance there would be problems so this disadvantage cannot be avoided 
So keeping in mind these disadvantages and advantages, there are many applications of casting process. As you can see, casting can be used in all the fields, like it can be used in railway, it is used in communication, it can be used in aircraft, etc. There are n number of fields where casting is used. Small parts, big parts, other parts which are precision parts, patterns, all the things can be done through casting. So it has increased its value, it has increased its space. So it is a major demand of the future casting process. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with eHira and subscribe our channel.